And it takes a very conscious effort for an artist to subvert that. One of the people I don't usually talk about in my mythology presentations is Miyazaki. Because Miyazaki is a very conscious creator. He does not line up with the typical Japanese storytelling tropes. He often subverts them. He often sort of goes to Japanese culture. So that when you look at something like Princess Mononoke, us as Americans might look at Princess Mononoke and say, oh, what a Japanese story. Not to the Japanese. The main character is Emishi, which is based on the Ainu, which is a Caucasian group in Northern Japan. That's why all the elders, when they banish him, all have beards, because they're white. So the main character of this Japanese film is white, and he is fighting bad samurai. Do you understand like how subversive that is to the Japanese psyche, where the samurai have always been the heroes? But the samurai and Princess Mononoke are the bad guys. And then go even farther, you have Lady Eboshi, who's running Iron Town. Her name literally means Lady Manhattan. She's literally a woman who has put on the Manhattan and says, things go my way. In ancient feudal Japan? Like, that's so subversive. So to the to, to Princess Mononoke, to the Japanese psyche, is really digging. It's really saying, ah, I'm going to make you think of it differently. I'm going to make you think of it differently. But for us, we're like, oh, this looks cool. <laughs>